these are all the standard books of final year that my seniors that my teachers asked me to read let's get straight to the point for me it's impossible so i am going to tell you how i studied in my final exam let's start with my favorite subject that is surgery for surgery the standard books that the teachers recommend is bailey and love so i have volume 1 and volume 2 of bailey and love and i did read it during my surgery quiz but that is all i did not find it very helpful for the surgery theory exams for my surgery theory exams i used this book called manual of surgery by srb so i read this book at least 4 or 5 times and i have bookmarked and highlighted all the important points in the book so for surgery my suggestion is reading this srb a few of my friends have read manipal and they say that manipal is an easier book again the choice is up to you now srb in itself is 1200 pages big you cannot read everything from the book so first things first what you need to do is take out the last 10 year of paper from your college or university and mark all the questions asked in those paper in the book i used this book unique companion for chapter wise university questions third year mbbs part 2 there is also bhalani for the same the choice is yours both the books provide the last 10 years question papers and once you mark them in the textbook you can start reading it but reading just imp is not going to cover your whole surgery so the next thing that i did for surgery is my notes from my pg classes i studied the main crux of surgery that is all the basics and advanced surgeries from my notes that was made from dams by dr gaurav patel sir but for theory exams i referred exclusively to srb so that is pretty much all the resources that you need to follow for surgery now there are a few things that you need to know while reading surgery in itself in surgery every question has a few subheadings that you absolutely need to remember etiology is important pathogenesis can be shortened but the treatment the surgeries need to be explained in details so make sure that you read all the surgeries at least the basic steps of it from the book srb and it will be very helpful for your theory exams now i have made a separate video on how to take notes and how to write the exam question paper so you can check it out so this is all for surgery one last thing that i need to mention is it's very hard to learn surgical procedures and the names and that is something i'll be talking about at the end of the video next let's finish ortho ortho is a short subject and for ortho the book that i used was maheshwari and maskar to be honest i did not find this book very helpful for example i read topics like arthritis rickets etc from medicine directly and the main use was for reading tumors for reading all the fractures and that is pretty much all it was hard to understand so i had to use a lot of youtube videos and i'm pretty sure you will find it when you search for it so this is all for orthopedics not a big subject not a big deal you can finish it as soon as you start it like in 3 4 days will be enough for this book now let's come to the next subject and that is pediatrics pediatrics is also comparatively a very small subject and for pediatrics i use exclusively ghai from ghai i read practical pediatrics theory pediatrics everything especially the first 10 chapters in ghai are very 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 important so make sure you read this first 10 chapters from line to line the chapters after the 10th chapter have a lot in common with medicine for example rheumatological disorders you can read it all from medicine genetic disorders medicine endocrine disorders medicine my point point is that again read the first 10 chapters line by line and afterwards you can just choose to read the imp questions only and that's pretty much for pediatrics it it's a relatively short subject compared to the other big ones like surgery medicine and you'll be able to do it easily the main problem with pediatrics is that it's a little bit confusing with medicine because we read medicine for 6 7 months and we don't give pediatrics that much time so maybe the symptoms of the disease maybe some neonatal problems are missed and our brain finds it hard to recollect so make sure you give it sufficient time and make sure you make revision notes of pediatrics for pediatrics i did not refer to my pg notes i just refer to guy and i think this book is enough now let's go to the next subject that is obstetrics and gynecology the standard books for obstetrics is williams i don't have it the standard books for gynecology is shaw and i read shaw for my obstetrics and gynecology quiz and it was very helpful it is good to understand everything it's like robins but for gynecology but still I personally think that it is not that helpful for your theory exams. I found it hard to write answers from Shaw. It's a personal opinion. I am sure maybe some of you will find it easy, but that's not the point. Um, the books that I refer to for theory exams are Datta's Obstetrics and Gynecology. 
it's a good book like a story completely theory point wise and a lot of diagrams this book will be more than enough for your theory exams again the same thing tick the imp read only the imp make sure you read labor from a better book than datta because i personally think that the part of the labor and the procedure related to it is a bit hard to understand from datta so i read sharmila arun babu for the same the rest these are your books for obstetrics and gynecology my secret weapon for obstetrics and gynecology were my notes i made these notes from dance coaching classes again my notes prep notes they are almost the same so i will not comment on it uh, i mostly read all the imps from my notes and i just referred to datta for headings and if i'm missing a point or two that is all so i think these notes will be more than enough to pass obstetrics and gynecology exam in theory so that's pretty much for obstetrics and gynecology Let's move ahead to the worst subject possible, the nightmare that I had, and that is medicine. In second year, I came to know from a few sources that Harrison was the most standard book in medicine, and my naive little self just spent ten thousand rupees buying these two volumes of Harrison. <sighs> the font in Harrison is very small, and there are almost three thousand pages to read, and just the enthusiasm. of being in mbbs in second year was enough for me to read the first 10 pages after that i gave up this was one of the worst investments that i did and i'll suggest you that harrison is not something that you should read in mbbs of course if you are a scholar if you are that smart you should read it but it's just my personal opinion there are other books that you can refer and one of them was david sam principles of medicine it's a very good book i'll suggest you to read a few of the topics a few of the diseases that you commonly find in the ward from this book it's easy to remember there are a lot of flow charts and diagrams and it's easy to digest at mbbs level so it's a good book what i read at least four or five times was exam preparatory manual of bolor i know it's not a standard book i know a lot of teachers who are watching this video will not like it but still this book will save your medicine I am someone who finds medicine very difficult, so this was my go-to book. Um, I think the whole book in itself is important, and you should read it from start to end. But of course, I, reading IMP is also good. You can just remember the pages and write the answers in the theory just as you want. So that's pretty much all for medicine. Bolor is your go-to book, and this is all for theory exams. now i mentioned something that is surgeries are hard to remember so what i did was i made a page in which i wrote the names of all the surgeries just the name no description um, no diagrams nothing else and when i uh, finished the whole syllabus i got like four five pages like this and then i sat down one day and started reading each name acha um ramsted operation kahan pe karte hain hmm yaar yaad nahi aa raha hai ek baar book khol ke dekh lete hain so first time it was hard to remember second time it became a little easier by third time i had remembered almost all the surgeries with names and the procedure so that is something that you can do to make surgery easier medicine is something of a hard subject for me so i had don't have any tips and tricks all i'll say is revise 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 and make as many flow charts and diagrams because studying theory and remembering theory is very hard pediatrics is just like medicine part 3 so you will have no problem with it and obstetrics and gynecology is a completely separate subject in its own i'll suggest read gynecology in one go from start to end because everything is connected in gynecology and for obstetrics every disorder has a pathology and that pathology can be targeted so it's a very logical subject so it will not be hard for you and that is all that i want to tell you about the theory exams and how to study in mbbs final year all the best <laughs>